everybody. I am sorry that it's dark. I'm sorry that I decided I didn't want to record while it's dark. I always wanted to accomplish this goal was just to go to college and finish. Like, <laughs> I can't finish for nothing. Gee. I just don't want to be working all my life for a job that I don't want to do. Like, I don't, that's not my goal. I've said that over and over and over and over again at my, my old job. People looked at me like I was crazy. Like, well, you have a good job. No, this is not a good job. It's not. It's, it's a job. I appreciate every job I've ever had. I'm going to put it like this, okay? I appreciate every job I've ever had in my entire life. But the thing is, is that I don't feel like I was appreciated. But I just don't feel appreciated and it's something that I know that I wasn't going to be doing for the rest of my life. I can't see myself growing old doing those those jobs that I was doing. I just can't. I can't. I'm not seeing myself retired from those type of jobs. That's slavery to me. I'm not enjoying my life. I'm not enjoying what I'm doing. When it comes down to taking care of people, loving and, you know, caring and, you know, I have a heart. I really do. And so I feel like... You know, that's one thing I honestly loved about my jobs is that my customers, I appreciated my customers. I went out my way for my customers. If it wasn't for my customers, I don't think I would have lasted long, really. I would have, I have not lasted too long because it's the people that, you know, count in my head. Like, because I feel like the customers made me feel appreciated. Like, they feel like they appreciated me more than the actual company did. I'm being honest. I mean, I, I speak my mind a lot, and everybody else, they just keep their mouth shut. Just to note this, today I am 18 weeks since I didn't make any videos. I haven't had any sickness since Monday. The baby uh, hasn't, he's been kicking, but not like he was kicking last week, though. That, that boy, he was, this boy be kicking it. I haven't told anybody about it because I honestly I've been doing really good when it came down to not telling I just don't be wanting to hear negativity that's that's annoying like to me like if you have nothing nice to say don't say nothing it's you know you tell somebody news and they always gotta say but why would you do that or are you sure you it's just it was full of doubts and, and what ifs and stuff I don't want to hear that would you like to hear that if you told some good news I mean dang so this is why I've been keeping my good news to myself for a long time. Like every when it comes to stuff, I honestly do. I, got, I still got other news that I have not. I might not even ever tell. You know, I just want to stay happy with my news. I want to stay happy with my business. I don't want to talk talk about nothing because I don't want to hear other people's opinions. I don't because at the end of the day, other people's opinions do not matter because they are not paying my bills. They're not going to be there when they need when I'm in need most most of them are not I'm not I'm put it like that they're not so there's no point of even you know listening I don't and then at the end of the day another thing is if I'm making mis if I'm making a mistake let let me make my mistake and learn from it okay if I make a mistake again hey that was just that's my thought <laughs> but I'm not gonna shoot myself for it I'm just excited about my future, excited that I'm free, free of stress. I'm so, so free of stress right now. I have another job coming up and I hope it works out. I would, I would love anything but, but from what I used to have. I just, oh jeez, if y'all only knew what I went through. They assume I was supposed to be crying because I'm not there anymore. Oh, Jesus, no, I'm not crying. I'm excited. I see the light. I see freedom. Third shift is a trip, you guys. I can't do it no more. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it anymore. Y'all seen in the beginning of my videos how tired I was looking? And I did that shift for three years. I ain't say the S word. I said shift. <laughs> I did that shift for three years, you guys. On top of that, I'm about to have two kids. Some people can do it. They can actually, you know, do third shift. Oh, they ain't got no parking places over here. And, yeah, some people can actually do it. They can sit there. They can do a third shift and have kids and stuff. And some people probably don't even have a choice. But in my mind, I have a choice. I have a choice of doing whatever I want to do. And just like, you know, if I can lose 86 pounds, if I can lose that weight, 
I feel like I could do anything, period. So as long as I work hard on it, do what I need to do to get there, to, to do anything, I can do. Nothing can't block me. I can only block myself. And that goes for anybody. Maybe I'm speaking for somebody else right now, just helping somebody else. I'm, I'm preaching for somebody. That's Don't settle for less. I, that's not me. I'm not going to settle for less. I'm not going to settle for just something that I could just hold, hold on with a string. I, I can't. I can't. If I'm holding on to something with a string, it's time to let go of it. I don't care what it is. I'm almost 30 years old, and I need to be doing something else. I want to be doing something else. I want to be at a different level by the time I hit 30, 35 years old or something. You know, something different. I don't want to be doing the same thing for years. I can't do I don't know how people do it. I just can't. I see a future. I see, I, I have too much talent to be doing the same thing for years. I can't do that. I can only do something that I really love to do and and of course yes I know that I have to probably do some things that I don't want to do and I will do that but at the end of the day I want to be able to do what I want to do in my last job I could not do what I want to do because I was too tired too stressed they were stressing me out physically and mentally they were stressing me out I've been through so much there and I, and I feel like the job wasn't supporting what I was doing you look at me like I'm crazy or something. You know, no, I'm like, you don't know who you're dealing with. Not in a bad way, but, you know, you're dealing with somebody that's trying to go somewhere. These Some of these people in, in this facility ain't trying to do nothing but be a slave to, to y'all. I'm not. I'm here to enjoy my customers, help them, do what I need to do to get them to what they need. I did enjoy my customers as I stated before. I, I was there for my customers, did my job the way I was supposed to, get my check and pay my bills and support my family. That is what I was there for. But in the end of the day, I felt like I didn't have a balance in my life because of that job. I'm, 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 I have goals. Like they don't see that. I'm not, I'm not everybody. I'm not everybody.